how marvelous oh how marvelous oh how wonderful and it's going to get very intense today make sure you're not left out I see God is becoming oh, impatient. He wants to come in right now.
my if you could die then you could be my everything because my mother cannot die for me oh be my everything it just hits me if he could die for me then he could be everything to me because man can attempt to be everything to a point but they can't die for me come on lift your hands and say be my everything be my everything pastor joe God alone can be everything be to us. Everything. Yeah. Be my everything. Be my everything. Be my everything. Christ in me. Yeah. Christ in me. Christ in me. Christ in me. The hope of glory. God in my living. God in my living. There in my breathing. God in my waking. God in my sleeping. God in my resting. There in my work. Sufficiency in you, God. Be my everything. Be my everything, Lord. Be my everything. Anybody need him to be everything? Come on, lift be your hands. Forget about who's standing next to you this afternoon. There's an awesome power going to flood in this afternoon. Be my everything. Second verse. God is my hope. Uh. God is my hope. There in my dream. God in my watching. God in my watching. God in my waiting. God in my waiting. God in my laughing. God in my laughing. There in my weeping. There in my weeping. God in my hurting. God in my hurting. But God in my healing. God in my healing. Be my everything. Be my everything. Come on, sing it, y'all. Your children, y'all. Your... Lift your right hand above your head, please. 
Let them be able to see you now open up your own mouth and bless him. Come on, open up your own mouth and bless the King of glory. Oh. He's God everywhere. I stand with arms high and heart abundant in all of the one who gave it all. I stand my soul. Can we pledge allegiance, lift your right hand and sing again, I stand, I stand with arms high. in your hands eternity in your hands you spoke the earth into motion you spoke the earth into motion my soul now my soul now to stand. now you stood before my failure for my shame carry the cross for my shame my sins many of them weighed upon your shoulders Sin all of them weighed upon your shoulders my soul now to stand my soul now to stand want to sing that whole verse again theologically biblically come on you stood before you stood before creation eternity for my shame. Carry the cross for my shame. You took the lashes. My sins weighed upon your shoulder. Sin weighed upon your shoulder. My soul now to stand. Now wherever you're watching on the internet, if you can, lift up your hand.
come and worship God here in your own heart. Come, come on. Offer this man, oh God, a minute to you. Not hiding things, my separate future, my treasure, Lord, you are. Let your hands and sing. My friend, all over in the choir, lift your hands. Can you lift a 
your feet for me, everybody lift your feet. There's an army rising from Trinity Baptist Church to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Today's Remembrance Sunday. Come on, give me a fist like soldiers, y'all. There's an army rising. Can you give me a fist? Huh? Come on. There's an army rising. Uh, from Trinity Baptist Church, everybody sing. To break every chain. 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 Break it. Break every chain. Come on and break it. Break every chain. There's power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Do you believe it this afternoon? There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. Now a friend of mine sent me this message from the book of common prayers and I think it was relevant to our worship. It says let's go forth into the world in peace. Let's be of good courage. Let's hold fast that which is good. Let's render evil to no one for evil. Let's strengthen the faint-hearted. Let's support the weak. Let's help the afflicted. Let's honor all people. Let's love and serve the Lord rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I can see that when we do this, we'll be imitators of Christ. Give me an F sharp, sir. For a minute ago. Stepping behind the veil, Jesus to worship you into your throne room. I come as we end, can you sing? Stepping behind the veil, Jesus to worship you. Jesus to worship you into your throne room. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in the house to validate His word. And as we sang that song, anything limiting the fulfillment of your destiny must be broken this afternoon. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to declare, let some chains be broken. On this Remembrance Sunday, we remember what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. Begin to speak, let the chains of sickness be broken, chains of disease be broken, chains of failure be broken, chains of shame be broken, cancerous chain be broken. Break every chain in the name of Jesus. Somebody speak over your destiny. The presence of the Lord is not for enjoyment, but is to fulfill His word in our lives. Begin to declare that every chain be broken. Lose your destiny. Lose your life. Every chain of stagnation, every chain of defeat, every cycle of failure, let it be broken. A chain of disappointment. Break, break, break. Break in the name of Jesus. On this day, we remember the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus on the cross of Calvary for the dignity of humanity, for the restoration of mankind. Come on, break that chain. This is a good day to be set free from pain, from sickness, from shame, from failure. Kabosh Tiata, I speak. The release of God's favor, God's glory over my life, over this ministry, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Just wave up your hands before the Lord and begin to thank him because he gave us his best. Because he gave us all on this Remembrance Sunday. We remember the ultimate sacrifice. He did it for love. He did it for our salvation. We thank God for all that people have done. But this is the one that gives us eternal inheritance in God. Let's just thank him right now. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise and glory for the sacrifice, for the ultimate victory on the cross of Calvary. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I thank you for the blood that is still speaking over my destiny. I give you praise. That blood that never loses its power. I thank you for the battle on the cross of Calvary by which Jesus won a decisive victory. And to today, that victory is speaking. We give God praise. We give God glory. Glory. Let's still continue thanking God for the set for the lives of our servicemen and women who have offered sacrificially for the peace and prosperity of the United Kingdom. Let's thank God for their life. Our servicemen, the ex-servicemen, those that have served in the in the Air Force, in the Navy, in the Army, in any in the police force. Let's bless the Lord for their lives. Father, we thank you for faithful men and women, for selfless men. And women who have given their lives for our peace and safety we bless you for them we thank you for this nation that Lord we have peace for the enjoyment and the advancement of the gospel we give you praise we give you glory we magnify you thank you Jesus blessed be your holy name hallelujah we are praying for the families who have almost donated their sons and daughters for the peace and prosperity, for the safety and security of this nation. In times like these, they grieve, they mourn, they remember. We want to ask that God strengthen them. Hold somebody's hand standing next to you and let's lift up our voice and in a unison unto God. Father, we remember the families that have donated, given their sons and daughters for the safety of this, of this nation, for the security, for our peace and prosperity who went in battle and never came back home. For the falling heroes, for the unsung heroes, we pray for their families that Lord in this day, they Will be strengthened and comforted by the comfort that you alone can give they will be cheered on by the memory and the valiant efforts of your sons and daughters in the name of Jesus father let your grace overshadow all those families up and down this country today in the name of Jesus let me your grace and mercy overshadow them let's pray for the safety and the, and the security of our forces on the battlefield right now let's ask God grace for them in the name of Jesus let's pray for our policy makers that they will engage the nation in battles that are worthwhile in the name of the Lord Jesus that they will choose their battles carefully let's ask God's wisdom and God's grace for our policy makers that they will not necessarily put our, our young men and young women in harm's way in the name of the Lord Jesus father we pray that let our men and women who are on the battlefront even this Day, Lord, in all sorts of places in Afghanistan, and Lord, may your grace and mercy overshadow them. We pray for your protective shield around them, Lord. May you take them and bring them back safely. We pray that, Lord, we ask that let your goodness and mercy, Lord, be with them. We thank you. We pray for our policymakers, asking your wisdom and your grace for them, making the right decision for the safety of this nation, Father. We give you praise. We thank you for great things you have done. Your presence is in this place. And in your presence we thank you that there is fullness of joy. There is liberty. There is freedom. Chains have been broken. Shackles removed. Destinies have been changed. We thank you for liftings and elevation. On this day we remember that Jesus, you did not take your life, but you gave it for us. And because of that we are still standing. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. We thank you for those that have given sacrificially for our well-being, for our safety. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' unbeatable name, somebody shout a big amen. Please be seated. Thank you.
Today is Remembrance Sunday, and this is a day that as a nation is set aside to remember our heroes, the sons and daughters of this nation who sacrificially defended the liberties and the freedoms of our land. And coming to share with us on this uh, day, uh, our brother Chris Murphy, who was an officer in, the, in her Royal Air Force, and also our brother Raphael Ajimai, who was a Marine. Shall we put our hands together as we receive Chris and Raphael? <laughs> 